are undergoing a process of transformation in terms of the way we think about Parkinson's. The field is evolving. On one level, we've done very, very well for the management of symptoms that relate to dopamine deficiency. So dopaminergic strategies of treatment for Parkinson's have been really good in terms of symptomatic benefits. Where we have not done well is in efforts related to what we used to call neuroprotection and we are better referring to as disease modification. So on one level we're trying to do further work in making the replacement of dopamine in the brain better. But when it comes to strategies to change the disease curves, we're not making progress. We think part of the problem is in the conception of Parkinson's. We have adhered to a nosology, to a conceptual framework of Parkinson's that essentially argues that we know what Parkinson's is because we have clinical criteria that allows us to make a diagnosis. That has served us very well for clinical trials of symptomatic strategies, but has not served us well for the targeting of putative disease modifying interventions in people who we call collectively Parkinson's. And the emerging consensus is that it is likely related to the fact that there are probably very different disease subtypes contained within the umbrella of Parkinson's disease, much like in other fields of medicine where we recognize that a diagnosis, for instance, lung cancer, really means several diseases, uh, t uh, tens of different molecular entities, each of which are treated individually with targeted molecular therapies. For us to make progress with Parkinson's, we will have to alter the way we view it. And although most of us recognize that Parkinson's is probably many diseases, we are still insisting for the purposes of developing therapies and also in the related aspect of developing biomarkers that Parkinson's is a uh, unity, it's heterogeneous, we say to ourselves, but it's a unity from the standpoint of all different mechanisms that have ever been reported to be abnormal in Parkinson's somehow have a relevant role in just about everyone with that clinical diagnosis. If in the future we were to begin to tease out different types of Parkinson's and there is a big deal of interest for instance in specific genetic forms of Parkinson's such as GBA and targeting uh, GBA uh, pathways in terms of what they do to the degeneration, we might be able to begin the process of truly coming up with successes that will apply to just these very specific subtypes of Parkinson's, but not others. And perhaps we just need to accept the fact that there will be a success, but that success will come only when A, we accept that it'll be applicable to a subtype, molecularly defined, and B, that it will not serve to anybody else that's sharing the same diagnosis.